Welcome to the south of France. Welcome to Paul Ricard. The 5.8 kilometer long racetrack is the playground for the fifth round of the 2018 Blancpain GT Series. After a podium at the last event in Silverstone, the Emil Fry Lexus racing team is highly motivated. Two Lexus RCF GT3 with the driver lineup, Albert Costa, Christian Klein, and Marco Seyfried in car number 14, and Stefan Ortelli, Marcus Paltala, and Norbert Siedler in car number 114 are on the entry list. The lap times in the qualifying session confirm the current performance. In the more than 50 car strong field, the RCFs again show their strength and potential. I tried to push because we had a little bit more pace in the car. I don't think I had the pace to be on P1, but top five was possible. The sister car also sets fast lap times during the qualifying. Being on P2 in qualifying two is, uh, is very promising. Pretty good as well that we are uh, able to fight for top positions in, uh, in the six hour race. At the end of the session, both Lexus are in the top eight of the starting grid. Car number 14 finishes as high up as P4. I'm so happy, you know, for two races in a row, in the second row of the start, this is unbelievable, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so proud that how we start here, we're here and we want to be here. We need just three positions more to be on where we want to be. Best weather conditions and nice French flair welcomes the race visitors, drivers and crew members on the grid. If I hear this music, I want to go the six hours uh, by as fast as possible that we can go up to the rooftop party. But first we have to uh, be on the podium. The race start, the lights go green and the leading car falls back. Clean in car number 14 seizes the chance and P3. A few moments later, he attacks the Ferrari in front of him and moves into second place. Likewise, Ortelli in the sister car 114 is on the way to the front. After a few corners, he already occupies P6. On the Mistral straight, he takes over fifth position. Later in his stint, Stefan passes both the Audi and Ferrari in front of him. P2 and P3 for Emil Fry Lexus Racing at the beginning of the race. While Clean has got an unadventurous stint, Ortelli has to muster all his skills to keep the Audi behind him. With the first pit stops, the order on the monitors is jumbled quite a bit but both Lexus are fighting intensively for podium positions on the track. The sun goes down, and then a huge setback for the car number 114. He crashed slightly with a Porsche, and in the end, we broke the steering. The repair costs a lot of time. The race for number 114 is over. Tests for the upcoming events are now on the list for the drivers and the crew. Meanwhile, the fight for the podium goes into the final rounds. Costa, behind the wheel of number 14, is in fourth position. Events are coming thick and fast in the following minutes. The leading Ferrari suffers a technical failure. The second-placed McLaren receives a drive-through penalty. So Costa finds himself in P2, only a few seconds away from the leader. Lap by lap, Costa is able to close the gap between him and the leading Bentley. The Spaniard shows all his skills and, in a show-stopping finish, takes the lead on the very last lap of the race. In crossing the finish line, Costa not only takes the first win for Emil Fry racing in the Blancpain GT Series, he also secures a victory for Lexus for the first time in the series history. I was lucky because he got a problem with the front part of the car, so he was losing a lot of speed. And I, I realized that three or four laps for the end. And I say, wow, I'm struggling a lot in the first sector compared with him. But if I, if I do good and I, I am less than one second, maybe I can arrive. Maybe I can arrive. And in the last lap, I did it good. And I say, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, and yeah, I pass him. And then I say, oh, well, we win. With two podium positions in two races, Emil Fry Lexus Racing is now in the second position of the Blancpain GT team standings and leading the team standings of the Endurance Cup.